going to try not to make any rustling noises with the camera this time. Also, we're back to horizontal because this seems like a good idea. So, one of the comments in the previous video below <laughs> was my wife who wanted to hear the rest of the story about how she was driving. And so if anybody else wanted to hear the rest of the story, here it is. My first one of my first experiences with a Model S back in 2022 for vacation, spring break. Um, the Easter egg thing just happened again. Camp mode. And I got a bird flying around. Some crow keeps bothering me. There he is. Look at this piece of shit. Fascinating. <laughs> so, on a clear, sunny day, we're driving to Myrtle Beach from Michigan in a 2018 Model S that I had rented for about $1,500 for eight days. Or was it 10 days? I'm not sure. It was a great deal. Um, but on autopilot, the car's going to be pass passing a, uh, a truck, a semi-truck. We were leaving Michigan. We were cruising around 80 and a 75, I think it was. I'm not sure. But um, whatever the truck did up front er, er, to like dodge a squirrel or whatever on the highway, the back of his truck kicked out and it was it was coming right towards my face. I was in the passenger seat and when I saw that whole trailer just jump over into our lane, I thought for sure, well, this is how our vacation ends, right when we're getting started. But in that blink of an eye instant, the car detected collision was imminent, and it took evasive action on its own. The car did it on its own. The car swerved away from the truck, over the yellow line, to go off the, to the left on the highway, to the left shoulder, and and braked perfectly hard enough to, while maintaining control. It then turned itself back and got back into the lane behind the truck, all on its own. Like my wife had her hands on the wheel because that's what we were supposed to do and we were learning the hard way right off the bat that if you mess up back in the olden days, this is how it was, um, back in 2022 before all these updates, um, all you had to do was put your pinky on there just or like any finger any kind of resistance at all and the car was happy but now you have to really um, pay attention um, and if you don't move the wheel enough within a certain amount of time it tells you to take over immediately and your full self driving is over for your the rest of your duration of your trip which basically means once you turn the car off put it back in park and then put it back in drive I'm not sure if opening the door actually helps or not but that's how I've been able to re recover my full self driving before this latest update so with this latest update there's no fucking around you have to be paying attention constantly you get three strikes and you lose it like it sounded like indefinitely I didn't want to mess with it but so far Amy's already got one strike for us and I haven't got any strikes so we're doing good <laughs> Amy doesn't even remember how it happened so it's just if you're not paying 100% attention it's so easy now like this little tiny thing says please shake the wheel to make sure you're paying attention and if you didn't see that and shook that wheel like within a second or so um, the red lights flash in and saying please take over immediately whatever full self driving no, no full self driving for you but anyways, 
yeah, that was that was our experience trying to pass the semi truck. Um, when the semi decided to, I don't know, maybe they hate Teslas and they he wanted to just try to sideswipe us off the road on purpose. <laughs> I don't know. It was a beautiful day out. There was no reason for it. Maybe it was really windy and he had a light trailer, but eh, it didn't seem like it was that windy to me. Um, the next big, like, important thing that blew my mind was when we were going through the mountains in Tennessee at night, and we were um, directed off of the main road to go up and over this mountain pass, and it was a winding mountain pass, back and forth, switchbacks, um, the entire way up the mountain and down there's no guardrails anywhere and constantly dealing with if you go over that little white line you got like a foot of dirt before and it's sloping dirt before you're going over the hill and I mean you're going off the mountain you're gonna go flying and the speed limit was 35 miles an hour and Tesla was doing 35 perfectly fine switching back Switching back, constantly hairpin turn, hip to hairpin turn, um, just handling it, and I was, I was terrified. This is my, still my first experience. The car did such a great job keeping us between the yellow line and the white line. I I would have been going 25 miles an hour with white knuckles, scared to hell to death, at night, with wet roads. <laughs> it was like raining out or something but yeah the car constant continues to impress it never ceases to amaze me and to top it all off with this car you know the one that I eventually bought um, in 2023 in April um, got into its first car accident and it's I I could have been a lot more injured but if I was in a different car I wouldn't have been able to stop apparently for the light anyways so be careful if you're falling behind a Tesla they have a really short stopping distance just saying and uh, you run into the back of a Tesla it's pretty much a miracle that this thing is not totaled but for a little bit of bumper paint and it's not going to be bumper paint and bondo. It's going to be a whole new bumper with whole new sensors. Probably we're looking at about three to five thousand dollars worth of damage, and all you can see is a little scratch. But it's underneath of this thing. It's like a motorcycle helmet. It's designed to take one good impact. And he says, just looking at it, I can tell you that that thing is probably cracked as well. And uh, we're going to need to replace that thing too. So, yeah. Lots of cool, amazing tricks on this here car. Um, some people might be wondering about the title. Is it clickbait? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't met my hero yet. So everyone keeps telling me, don't meet your heroes. So that's why I, I created the segment, Never Meet Your Heroes. In a way, I feel like working at Tesla, everybody's my hero. Like... We're all awesome, extraordinary people doing things that normal people don't do. Like, they don't leave their family to go work for a job that they don't have a house at yet. On the house front, we are making some progress. Um, hopefully, sometime soon, we should be getting the, uh, the land purchased. And from there, we'll start working on the, uh, the housing complex. And um, stay tuned for that. We're looking at Winnemucca now because Tesla will come and pick me up no matter where I'm at. It sounds like up to two hours. So other than that, almost 10 minutes. I need to, to find a good spot to go shave. Maybe I will try to find a trucker's lounge. Nah. I think they'd get mad at me at Planet Fitness if I shaved in their sink. As long as I cleaned it up really good. I'm going to keep this, of course. I do need to trim this. Okay. Ten minutes. 
Let's see how scratchy and and annoying the mic was. Love you guys. Bye.